Hey Chalkers, want your troubles to melt away like lemon drops? This month's Club Couture shipment is sure to do just that. This sweet lemon grove transfer on our reclaimed metal tray will have your home decor refreshed and ready for lemonade on those long summer days. This month's Club Couture shipment comes with everything you see here. The exclusive B-sized Sweet Lemon Grove transfer and three beautiful paste single packets in the colors Bumblebee, Meadow, and Storm. All right, I've gathered all my supplies. I'm going to be using our reclaimed metal tray as my surface. We've also got a fuzzing cloth, transfer trimmers, color trays, and three mini squeegees. So let's get started. Let's start by cutting apart my transfer using my transfer trimmers. We won't be using these extra pieces for this project, so I'm just setting those aside. Now I'm prepping my transfer by removing it from the backer and pressing it down on our fuzzing cloth. This picks up some lint from the fuzzing cloth and gentles the adhesive on a new transfer. It helps a new transfer not be as sticky and avoid stretching your design, especially because it sticks extra hard on the metal tray. I'm centering it on my tray and smoothing it out, and I'm making sure to get it well pressed down with no bubbles or wrinkles. Okay, time to prep our paste. To do that, I'm grabbing my meadow paste and kneading the packet to make sure it's well mixed. Then I'll just cut it open and squeeze some into my color tray. I'll do the same with Bumblebee and Storm. This is the perfect light and summery palette for this time of year. Okay, let's get chalking. Using one of my mini squeegees, I'm loading up some Storm paste and chalking Sweet Lemon. For this project, I will be doing all the text in Storm and the rest of the details in Bumblebee and Meadow. Now using a clean squeegee, I'm picking up some of the Bumblebee paste for that darling lemon. I'm being careful not to get yellow in the stem or leaves so that I can chalk those in Meadow. And I'm making sure to have a nice clean application with no clumps of excess paste left on the screen. Let's use Meadow to chalk the stem and the lines above Grove as well. This project will take a little more time than I have before the paste dries, so I will be using a technique we call chalk and pull. To do this, I'm working in sections from the top of my transfer to the bottom, peeling as I go. But I'm only peeling the top part of the transfer that I've already chalked. I'll let this dry a little bit before sticking it back down to avoid smudging the design. Let's smooth out the transfer and I'm good to keep chalking. I'm going to continue the process the same way as before, chalking the words in gray. Because I'm using our chalk and pull technique, I've already peeled and dried that top section, so I don't need to be stressed about it drying in my screen, and I can take my time to get everything just right. Okay, let's use meadow on those lines, and then we'll go ahead and peel again. This time I'll peel the transfer even further to just below where I've chalked and let it dry. All right, for the last section of my transfer, I'm using storm for the words, and then I'll chalk that cute little banner in meadow. This part is a little tricky, but you can totally do it. Just take your time and small strokes to get that paste exactly where you want it. Okay, we are ready to get this peeled all the way off. It turned out so cute. This is the perfect light and bright addition for your home to get you ready for summertime. And don't forget about the transfer elements we didn't use in this project. They're the perfect accent pieces to make a sweet collection with this month's Club Couture. Happy chalking. Mm -hmm.